dear brothers and sisters greetings in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ today we are meditating on the theme cross and liberation based on luke chapter 4 verses 18 and 19 this passage interconnects with the liberative framework of dalit theology there are barriers that prevents human being from living life to the fullness these barriers constitute captivity to individuals and communities the barriers that constitute captivity to human could be political economic ecological medical social or spiritual captivity denies human the access to their fullness of life humans captivity can be so strong on them in such a way that they cannot help themselves out hence jesus took on the cross to save human from captivity of every kind as we delve deeper into the heart of christ the liberating ministry unfolds before us it also open our eyes to the struggles of the marginalized communities let us reflect on how the cross offers hope and liberation to the oppressed particularly in the context of dalit communities compassion for the oppressed jesus address was born on compassion for the oppressed in israel it was common to see the less privileged being oppressed by those in high position and wealth the earth is the place where the physical church dwells and as such she must make the world a better place to live every human created by god has the right to live life to its fullest without being oppressed by fellow humans the church should be ready to take side with the oppressed and fight for their rights jesus action recorded in the today's passage was that of compassion for those that are physically and spiritually oppressed the cross symbol of dalit experience the cross has more meaning for dalits than only its conventional christian meaning it serves as a warning symbol that reminds us about pain injustice and prejudice based on caste dalit theologians interpret the cross not only as a symbol of christ's sacrifice but also as a symbol of solidarity with the marginalized and the oppressed through the lens of dalit theology the cross becomes a symbol of resistance against caste based hierarchy and injustice offering hope for liberation from social economic and political oppression liberation dalit struggle for justice The proclamation of liberation in Luke chapter 4 verse 18 and 19 resonates profoundly with the Dalit experience. It speaks to the longing for freedom from caste discrimination, social exclusion and economic exploitation. Dalit theology emphasizes the need for liberation from oppressive structures that continue caste-based discrimination and marginalization. The call to set the captives free and proclaim liberty to the oppressed aligns with the Dalit struggle for social justice, dignity and equality. The connection Dalit liberation through the cross. In the connection between the cross and Dalit theology, we find a powerful narrative of liberation and hope. Jesus identification with the marginalized and his solidarity with the oppressed dalit communities demonstrate the transformative power of the cross through embracing the cross dalit christians find strength resilience and courage to confront 
injustice, challenge oppressive systems and work towards the liberation of all marginalized communities. Beloved brothers and sisters, as we reflect on the connection of the cross and Dalit liberation theology, let us be inspired to stand in solidarity with the marginalized, advocate for justice and work towards the liberation of all oppressed communities. May we symbolize the spirit of Christ who proclaimed freedom for the captives and liberation for the oppressed. Let us pray for the courage to embrace the cross and strive for a world where justice, equality and dignity prevail. Let us pray. God our liberator, enable us to understand your heart for the liberation of all those who are oppressed, captivated, marginalized, humiliated and denied of our justice. Equip us with a heart of love so that we may stand in solidarity with the oppressed communities and join with your ministry of liberation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.